Welcome back to Tar Heel Talks. Today I am joined by Taman Fox of Carolina Football. Welcome, Taman. We're happy to have you. Uh, thank you guys for having me here. So talking about Saturday's win against Syracuse, how did it feel to be back on the field when just a few months ago the possibility of football was uncertain? Oh, it felt really good to be out there with my teammates. We put a lot of work in over the summer and towards the beginning of this fall. We just, you know, like you said, we never knew that we would have a possibility of a season. We just worked hard and prayed that it happened. So what was the environment like in Keenan Stadium with no fans? Uh, yeah, it was really different without fans, but you know, as a team, we just had to bring a lot of energy to the play ourselves. It was a lot of a big thing that we focused on was uh, all the guys on the team, especially on the sideline, having energy. So how does that lack of fan presence really change the game? Have you guys made any adjustments according to that new rule? Um, you know, like when you're really locked into the game, you kind of don't notice it because they have a little noise machine that goes on too. So you think that there's fans behind you, but when you turn around, there's nobody there. But we kind of just lock into the game, try to stay focused as much as we can. And then we also have our teammates on the sideline that do a good job of bringing energy. Just recently, UNC football actually released the Unity patch that players could opt to wear that you actually designed. So walk me through that design process and what exactly that patch means to you. Yeah, so for the patch, I just try to get with all the guys, mostly the leaders on the team, ask them like, what would be a good idea for this? Like, what would you guys want to have on a patch that resembles all of our values? And they gave me a bunch of ideas to start off with the face and then end up with the words around it. And I think it just, it's a good representation of what we at Carolina Football believe in and that all we're, all we're shooting for is this unity around the world. So talking about the specific details of the patch, just give us kind of an image and explain exactly the details that are on it and the thought and message that was put into the design. Yeah, okay. So at first we started off with the, the fist, not, not exactly like the Black Lives Matter fist, but somewhere in the same uh, works. And then after that, we had words that circle around the whole thing, trying to bring everything in together, which is the whole point of it. We have words like say their names, freedom, equality, unity, all different kinds of things that are just good values that our team has. So Taman, obviously you're extremely talented off the field as well. So what really inspired this patch to come to be? What is your background with art and how did you initiate the creation of the patch? Yeah, so uh, Coach Mac Brown, he came to the team one day for a team and told us that the NCAA was allowing a patch. And then I think it was, I believe it was the very next day, one of my teammates actually texted me and came up to me asking me that it would be a good idea to do the patch. So I talked to the coaches and they thought it was a great idea. So after that, we just went on from there. And as for my background, my family, mostly my dad, and it's a little bit with my uncles, they are really good at art. So they've been helping me out ever since I was younger. And then it's mostly just been a hobby since then, because I've been really busy with school and football. But yeah, I've always loved art. This is something I've always done. So you talk about it being a side hobby. Is it kind of just something you do in your free time? Do you do any art for friends? You just draw on your own? What are the specifics of that hobby? Uh, usually it's just in my free time. It's something I do on my own. But once other people have noticed that I could do art, they've asked me to you know, do things for me. I've done a couple tattoos for people back home and even people on the team right now. I've done paintings or just regular pictures that anybody, just whatever they want. So obviously talking about this talent, is this something that is just kind of for fun for now or could you see yourself pursuing it later as a side gig or even part of your career? At first I seen it was just something for fun. Like, like, I, like I said earlier, it's something I do in my free time, but now that I look at it, it's really something I could get uh, taken seriously. Uh, so I could add it to my career at one point or another. And is there a favorite type of art you have? Is it doing the tattoos? Is it drawing? Which exact type is your favorite? Uh, I'll say I like doing tattoos. That's more of something that's new that came up, but I definitely like tattoos. I like being able to see my art on somebody else and just watching how they love it. <laughs>